Hello and welcome back to my garage here in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. It's been a little while since we were here last. I have a few, let's see, what do I have here? Uh, after our last session I went to the junkyard just for fun and I picked up this car which is a Ferrari F40 and I picked up this one because it's super valuable. I also looked around at the cars that I have in my storage and I pulled this one out and went ahead and did it. This is a Chieftain Bandit Shiv and it, this of course is the in-game equivalent to the uh, old school Pontiac Firebird. Now in order to get the Firebird livery, this is a livery of course, and in order to get this to work you have to use the standard uh, fender, the fender bumper and hood instead of, I think it came with front bumper B and hood B and and uh, fenders left and right fenders B but this livery will only work with uh, just the standard hood fenders and bumper and I went ahead and did this because I have one of these in my storage already that I keep I have a, a, one of these in my personal collection already and uh, I went ahead and got this one done so I could get it out uh, the other car back there that's actually a customer order that I went ahead and took because all it wants is body work and oh no I lied it wants gearbox work which means it's mostly going to be it's going to be clutch it's going to be clutch and transmission primarily so but it also wants full body work and I'm going to do that one up so it looks nice these other ones can go uh, this thing needs to get out of here it's not worth a whole lot it's like a hundred and yeah a hundred thousand dollars and one hundred and seventy three and then you have the F40 and this one is great I paid I think two hundred and forty thousand dollars for it in the junkyard and it is worth two point four no two point two almost two point three million dollars so that's this is one that is still highly worth doing there are actually two F40s this is the one this one has a V8 it has a supercharged V8 engine in it and I prefer whoops I prefer this one because uh, the other variant comes with a v the V12 Hoyera engine from the Pagani and I don't think it's actually as valuable as this one I also dislike building the V12 engine this one is super easy and I think it develops more horsepower than the V12 does but anyway this is a whole lot of million this is 2.4 2 2.3 million dollars on this car and I'm not gonna do this right now unless I have to. No, I'm gonna move this over there. And now I want to go ahead and go to the junkyard since we haven't done a whole lot of that lately. Although I do have I do have an extra barn find map I can use, but I want to do the junkyard. So here we go. Okay, here we are. Let's see if there's anything interesting out here. There were some new mod. There were some new mods that have landed in the workshop, and I have downloaded three of them that look interesting. So what we have here, this is the in-game Salem Spectre Fastback, and this is a Lotus Elise. Neither of which is terribly interesting. And this looks like a bolt, no, chieftain, okay. Diablo, Diablo VT, and Porsche 914, and this one has a, this one has the, uh, this one has the, what's the, what's the, Bentley, the Bentley V, the Bentley V12, the compact Bentley V12. That's a Roadrunner. Uh, we'll probably buy that, and that is a DeLorean. And what are you? Is this supercharged Bolt Cape? And it looks like a Mustang. Boy, what was it? What was in there? Supercharged V8. So that would be a that would be a beast. Let's go and buy the Roadrunner. runner. 
I didn't look to see which one this was. Oh, it's not a Roadrunner, it's a Charger. What the hell was I thinking? Oh. It's still the most interesting car here. And it has the OHV mag engine in it. So it's $9,700. I think we'll go ahead and do that one just because, like I said, it's the most interesting car here and I don't want to reset the junkyard again. Okay, charger, 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 charger. Oh, that's something I wanted to do. Doesn't look like there's much in the way of body parts on this thing anyway. It's got some seats in it. One headlight, no fenders. I'll try to keep in mind that it was $9,200 and see what it's worth when we're finished. I've done a few of these. I don't think it's worth a whole lot. I try to remember to do this. I always forget. Um, charger. So what did we get? Not a whole lot. At least uh, as, a, as a DLC car, all the pieces are right here and they're easy to get. And everything will fit very, everything will fit correctly and, and it'll all work. There won't be any fiddling around with uh, extra bits and pieces. I hit the wrong thing, and I'm not. That's why I, that's not working because I'm not close enough, and I, <laughs> I keep going to the wrong place. There we go. Thinking about it, I'm pretty sure I actually have a Roadrunner or two in my storage. Okay, and that should be, yep, 100% body. Oh, I was like, why am I, I expected to move it over to the lifter, and obviously I can't do that because it isn't there. That is a terrible color. 
we're going to have to change that. That's the factory color for it, too. That's awful. We'll pick, we'll, we'll pick some different wheels for this, too. Make it look cool. That, I think, yeah, that's the Rim Atlanta. That's the one, that's the standard one for, like, the, the Bolt Atlanta, the one that looks like a El Camino. What is that? Front pipe B. I know that pipe is not in the performance store. I thought I took these out, but I guess I didn't take them both out. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and get working on it here and paint it a little bit, paint it later this time because usually I like to paint them first just so it looks nice while I'm working on it. In this case, I think I'll do it the other way. Give me a chance to think about what I want it to look like. I'm pretty sure they have livery for the charger that's like stripes that run down the length of the body over the top I mean and we could because I did one that was black with white stripes maybe we do one that's uh, something else like a golden rod or green something like a forest green I haven't seen a charger like that definitely want to pick different wheels for it though I'm going to build out the uh, V8 Hemi engine for it rather than the OHV mag. click on the transmission and I went too far. In fact, let's just go to town get all this stuff out and we will do a mass replacement here flush everything that we know we're gonna get rid of and repair everything else see how much money we can make on this car realize I can st the uh, I can't quite touch it from here the rear axle is back there let's 
Oop, give you a nice view inside the engine block there. Right. Oops, let's get that thing too. And then we'll drop it and get that rusty hunk of junk out of the engine compartment. Now I might actually, what's left, what is this? this <laughs> see, this is one where we would have had to rebuild it basically from scratch anyway because there's, there's no pistons, it's just a crankshaft and a block. And but those are those are V8 OHVC, which means that's not what I want. I want to pick because the V8 Hemi uses the V8 OHVC parts. And down, yes, you are. That means we might actually be able to use those if the if the if the block and um, crankshaft are not totally shot, we might be able to use them again and build a new engine. So we're going to need to get rid, let's see, there's four smalls and 12 regulars. And I'll flush all the brake parts. And the clutch parts, I'll try, I'll try to repair that. Uh, probably those are both 9%, probably won't get either of them. And I want to nuke the tie rods and the sway bars. And let's see what percentage the rack is at. 9%, buy a new one. Okay, suspension parts. Well, we'll start with the clutch release bearing and the bushings. Because I need 12 of these. You can probably hear my keyboard clicking away, huh? And we'll get the brakes, front disc brakes, and rear drums. I only got one drum. Okay, and I'm going to need sway bar B. tie rods here and the steering rack not that there we go and I'm gonna need double wishbone shock absorbers for the front and I'm going to need certainly going to need the hub bearings and the caps probably the front wheel hubs too I'll go ahead and buy those see this is 23 and this is 28 we might be able to repair those what else do we need to get here shock absorber B I'm gonna need to replace those and that's gonna be under the suspension category Okay, so 8%, 9%. Anything that's single digits are probably not going to get back. Yeah, see, this is 16. Repair the engine block, though. Okay, so that... I'm probably going to need F gearbox. Going to need a drive shaft, knuckle housing B... 
drive shaft is under gearbox. Front axle knuckle cover, bottom suspension arm. So one leaf spring, one leaf plate, and one leaf U-bolt, and cross member E. And then there was the crankshaft, let's see, V8OHVC, no that's ONV, what is that? Okay, so let's buy a bunch of the things that I know I'm going to need. Uh, let's see, OHVC, there's that. I'm going to need this. I have a block. I'm going to need, I got the arms. This one, I'm going to need all the yellow bits. And this is the Hemi engine, so I'm going to need that. And I think it's Rocker Arms H. Yeah, it's going to be Rocker Arms H. I'm going to need two belts. And I'm going to need the timing cover. I never can remember if it's OHVF or OHV. And I think it's actually F, but I'm going to buy one of each. I don't, spending money I don't need to, but I'm going to try it. Need a water pump pulley. I will come over here and we'll get pistons and spark plugs. Actually, I shouldn't have searched for that. If I search for IG, for ignition, it'll give me the coil. But it'll also give me the distributor cap and the rotor. And it needs wires VH, V8AH. Um, let's see. I'm going to need some clips. And I'm getting ahead of myself anyway. I need to look at these. Let's see, that can go now. There. So now we should have nothing but good parts. These tires are all the same size, 235, 60, 16. And we'll buy good tires for it. Now which rim do we want? I want to chrome whatever it is. And I want to use something that looks I want to use something that looks cool but has some visual depth to it. I did a, I used a set of rims on another car that was just it was flat. I mean it had spokes but it came out just flat and it wasn't very interesting. Um, so I don't want to do that again. Maybe something like this classic 16 here. Yeah, let's do that. I think that'll look good chromed out. Those were 16 inch wheels, right? Yes, they are. Okay, now we'll get these get uh, get these mounted. Yeah, I think that wheel will look good. money for a, for an additional 
uh, wheel balancer though. I just want to make sure 235 60 16, 235 60 16, so the old ones can all go away now. Then I think this is I think this is the last wheel that needs balancing. Yes it is. Of course, this is the problem with spoke wheels like on a car with uh, disc brakes, uh, or drum brakes rather. That looks a little bit odd. I think it will look better when it's on the ground though. This here is like one of my favorite things, where you mount the steering knuckle, the front steering knuckle out there, and it just hangs in the air. You don't even need to have anything attached to it. Apparently gravity doesn't exist in this world. Yeah, what the heck was I doing there? Alright, come back. I wish they had performance brake parts. Like they like I mean in real life you can get performance brake calipers and stuff. I think it would be cuz like the the Bentley Continental has a, a red brake caliper cuz and it has two cylinders in it. And that's the only one in the game where there's some color to the brake caliper. And I think that would look really cool if I could put like a performance brake caliper on that was red. Oh, I just assembled all that without attaching anything else. Get the whole front wheel assembly sitting there. Not even attached to the car except by the tie rod.
Okay, so the rolling chassis is all assembled now. Let's take a look at it from a distance. Yeah, I think it looks alright. It's going to look better when it's colored, when, it, when the car is painted. And let's get to work on this. I should have... Oh, I know I don't have the oil filter. Don't have the camshaft. This one is kind of dis this one is kind of deceptive because it's an OHV engine, but it uses the uh, standard V8 oil filter rather than the OHV oil filter. It kind of annoys me that they don't have a cable that goes from the coil to the cap. I mean, this kind of system, there should be a cable that goes from here to the cap. I mean, that's how it gets the spark. But they don't have that. And it, it is an OHVF chain. I really need to remember that. I build a lot of these engines. The problem is the V8 OHV engines, there's like, there's like eight of them and they all use different combinations of bits. It's really, oh, you know what, I need to get the uh, alternator and fuel, um, power steering pump. So that's alternator. It's the, it's the little, it's the littler alternator, the I6B alternator, and it's the F pump. And I have the belts, and it's going to be a, f and I'm going to need a fan. I think it's uh, Rad Fan B. Yep. No, I don't. I know I don't have like the engine what oh you know what I j all I bought was the all I bought was the throw out bearing I didn't come over here and buy the flywheel and the pressure plate and the clutch plate and the top half of this engine is actually V8H so yeah So I need engine head A and and B and carburetor A and carburetor B and oil filter air filter H. And here we need the base. This stuff is a little bit easier because it has the Plymouth logo, and I want the engine head covers. I think I just—I think they're just called engine head cover. Yeah, see here, it's a V8, but it's engine head cover A and engine head cover B, and you can tell these because of the Plymouth logo. I just thought of something else I don't have. Okay, now we can bang this together. Gonna need push rods. I think it's V8. I think it's gonna be the V8F push rod. Yeah, 
and the V8H rocker arms. This is one that I like to put the spark plugs in right away because they go down inside of a they're inside of a they're inside of a collar basically. And if you assemble if you assemble the head and end up putting the cover on, I find it a little bit more difficult to reach the spark plugs in the collars. So I uh, put them in first. I want V8, there it is, OHVH. much prefer working on engines that have the rocker arm assembly though rather than bolting in 16 individual rocker arms we're almost done here Get these push rods in, get the rocker arm on. I'm going to need to buy a transmission because I'm pretty sure it's still going to want the OHVF transmission for this. I'll need to buy a starter. I've already got the ignition wires for this. You see they've got the long, call it the long cap. And that's finished. That engine is totally assembled. All right. And of course, first thing we do is put oil in it. Yeah, and those those headers connect directly to the exhaust pipe. That's good. I think the other engine has a, a short exhaust manifold and then you have to get another segment of pipe that goes from the manifold to the exhaust pipe. This one just connects right to it. And this is the last part that should 100% this car. Yep, she's 100% across the board. That's what we want to see. We want to... Let's go ahead and paint it now. Decide what we want it to look like. 
So that's the factory color. It's kind of a kind of an institutional green. I wonder if I can get I need more saturation. A lot more saturation. Okay, that's what I'm looking for right there, something like that. That's a nice color. Let's see here. And I think they, let's see, black stripes or white stripes? And this is, yeah, wrap around the trunk there. Does it say like charger or something on it? I don't think it does. And what's this? That's wrapped around the front. That looks dumb. Big black hood, nope. Okay, so black stripes. I think I'll go with the white. I think I'll go with the white. I think that looks good. Yeah, that works. I think it looks all right. So the million dollar question, of course, now is how much is it worth? We paid 6200 or was it 9200 I, I want to say it was $9,200. Oops, and we should be up above 100000 109 So that's actually more valuable than that Chieftain that, we sh that I sold before. So let's uh, take it for a quick drive and see how... Oh, you know what? I didn't dyno it. Let's do that. I think the Hemi has a 475 rating pre before being upgraded. Yeah, well, 425, and it's probably going to be six something. Can't remember. Definitely a nice upgrade. Okay, so we'll just uh, proof it out on the test track. We'll proof it out on the speed track real quick. Okay, here we are inside. I'll take a look at it here in the sunlight. Yeah, I'm really, I, I really like this. This this green is really good. It's darker outside than it was inside the garage, but this is exactly the kind of effect I was wanting to get. It looks really, really good. I like it a lot. Okay, let's let's see if I can keep it in a straight line. Really wants to drift to the right. Now it's tracking pretty straight, so... Yeah, it's drifting back to the left, but that's okay. 152 is the maximum speed we reached. If I fooled with the gearing, I'm, no, I, I'm sure I can get it up higher, but that's not really what I'm going for here. Yep, not too bad at all. 152, look at the way it wobbles when you brake. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I like that. Definitely came out well. Okay, so the last thing to do is to sell the car. $109,000. That's definitely, um, I mean, shoot. It's $100,000. We're, we're selling it for $100,000 more than we paid for it. And I really, I mean, I didn't keep track of what it cost to buy the parts and repair and do the body work and everything, but still, this is nothing to sneeze at. So we'll shoot that out the door and we'll call it a day. All right, cool. I like that. That worked out. That worked out better than I expected. So that'll wrap this one up. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. I really appreciate. I really appreciate uh, your eyeballs watching this stuff. It always, it always uh, makes me happy to know that people are watching this stuff and 
somewhat enjoying it, I guess. <laughs> and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you again here for our next junkyard adventure. So on that note, bye for now.